Good morning. Today is Mass. This is May 9th, Saturday morning. We begin with a prayer in response to the coronavirus outbreak and all illnesses by Bishop Edward Malasek of Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Lord Jesus, in our time of need, we bring our fears and concerns to you in faith. We are grateful for your closeness to us as we confront the adversity of the coronavirus and all illnesses as they affect those we love and countless others. Jesus, tend to those who are suffering at this time, especially the elderly and the weak. Provide every necessary strength to our doctors, nurses, health care assistants, and all those who are working to respond to this crisis. Jesus, give us the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to face this challenge. Inspire each of us to do whatever is necessary to confront the spread of this disease. Help us to carry this cross with courage and to walk with the sick with compassion. Give knowledge to our scientists. Keep our families in your care. Heal the sick. Protect the healthy. Console the fearful. Comfort those who are isolated. Give us hope. Give us life. Jesus, the divine physician, we trust in you. Mary, comfort of God's children, pray for us. St. Bernardin of Siena, patron of those with illnesses of the lung, pray for us. St. Albert the Great, patron of scientists, pray for us. We make our prayer to you this day, Lord Jesus Christ. You live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Today's Mass is for Greg N. Good morning, all, especially all those out there in live streaming land. Hope you are well. We begin our prayer, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and the Lord's great mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter, graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, Show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, 
we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commended us. I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. Alleluia. Alleluia. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Alleluia. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. According to John, Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, that means to us, if you know me, then you will also know my Father. So everything that is really essential about God, everything that really pertains to God is revealed in Jesus. In Jesus, we see the real essence of God. And when we look at Jesus, what do we see? Do we see this incredible, fantastic majesty, this unsurmountable power, this uh, 
Mysterium Tremendum et Fascinans, as the theologians say, no. What we see in Jesus instead is compassion, a thirst for justice, a hunger to do the will of God. We see concern for other people. We see compassion. We see forgiveness. And we see uh, obedience to the Father. And we see mostly love. So if you really want to know what God is like, look to Jesus. And what we see in Jesus is what's really true, our most essential about God. For us to be God's children, to be God-like, then is not about being all-powerful, about all-knowing, omniscient. It's rather about being like Jesus, filled with a hunger to do God's will, filled with a hunger for righteousness and truth, passion, and especially to be filled with love. And in that way, we truly are godlike. Let us pray. For ourselves and for all the church, that we may exhibit the compassion, the concern, the tenderness and love of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering during this time of pandemic, either from loneliness, isolation, from tension and stress, from economic hardship, from physical illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those fighting the coronavirus, doctors, nurses, researchers, all the essential workers that help us to keep fed, keep our city going, for God's blessing on them that they may remain safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the gift of peace, peace in our world, peace in our city, peace in our homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the special needs and prayers and intentions we bring with us today. For all the prayers that remain silent in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and all those that remain silent in our hearts. We make them in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Bless to you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Which earth is given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joe our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with Saints Peter and Paul, the Apostles, Saint Augustine of Canterbury, Saint Mary of Magdala, Saint Phoebe, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of the Lord's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that when your Son commanded us to do in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Hope you have a great day today. Thank you for being with us, especially all those on live stream. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stay safe.